Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I will show you how we can integrate JMeter with Postman. So as we know, we use Postman for API testing, means API functional testing. And if we talk about the JMeter, JMeter is a performance testing tool. So in this session, we are going to cover integration of JMeter with Postman. If you are working on the Postman, you are doing functional testing using Postman. But now your requirement is to do performance testing of same API in JMeter. So here I will show you how you can take your Postman script to the JMeter so that you can do performance testing. Here we are going to work in three steps. Now we are going to start our task. Here in the step one, we are going to write functional test cases in the postman. We are going to execute these test cases to do functional testing and then we will have to make some proxy changes. So I am assuming you are already aware about postman and you already ins download and install JMeter. Now let's move to the postman first. Yeah, here I am on the postman. Here I make some request. One is the post other one is the get and other one is the delete. Here I'm using my sample APIs. If you want to use the same API, you can simply go the testing word api.com. Here you will get sample API for practice purpose. So here the testing word api.com, go to the API section and here you will get a lot of API. I'm using these student details API. Here we have an API for adding a new student, fetching the data of the student, updating and deleting data of the student. My functional test cases are ready. Let me show you. So that's my post request. That's the body of the post request. And as I click on send, it is adding a new student in my application. In the same way, that's the student ID, student ID. I just copy and use it over here. So now I want to fetch details of it. We are getting details means that is a get API. If you want to delete that student, so that's my delete API. I've just entered new student ID sent. Now it is deleted. I want to make sure a student is deleted successfully or not. So I'll simply go to the get and run it again. So that no data found means that is function working fine in functional point of view. Now I want to do the performance testing of same API. One approach is that you will go to the JMeter. You will write script in the JMeter. Other option is that you can take, take this functional test cases to the JMeter directly. Okay. How are we going to do it? For that, we have written some test cases, functional test cases in the postman, executing it for the functional testing. Now, to, first of all, we have to change proxy setting in the postman. Okay, I am in the postman here. When you want to take your script to the JMeter, go to the setting icon and select settings. Here in the proxy, go to second option add a custom proxy and uncheck this first checkbox here you need to give the port and the same port we are going to use in jmeter so i have given the port double eight double eight so this is the setting you have to do in postman now as a step two we need to start jmeter configure same port in the jmeter and start recording so i'm assuming you have basic understanding of the JMeter. So here I'm on the JMeter. First of all, I'm creating a thread group that is quite similar to the test case. Like you are creating a test case. Okay. What is the name you want to give? I'm giving like API performance testing. Now that's my thread group is ready. Inside the thread group, I have added one logic controller with the name recording controller either you can use recording controller or you can you or you can use simple controller as well 
So okay, I use the simple controller name like student management API. Okay. Now you have this controller as well. Now I will go to the test plan and, and we need to start recording here. So simply go to the test plan and add non test element which is HTTPS test script recorder that is added here the same port we need to give which we have given in the postman. So I have given a double eight double eight. Also, where you want to put your recording. So I want to put my recording in AP performance testing test case, which is a thread group. And that's my simple controller here on this point. I want to put recorded steps. All the things are done. Just click on start button. Click on OK. Once recording is started, now go to the postman again, run your test cases here. So first I'm running the post request. That is done. Now I'm running my get request. Now I'm running delete. Running this get again. So whatever the request you are running here in the postman now will be recorded in the JMeter. Now once all the recording has been done, you can click on the stop button and now your test case is ready here in the JMeter. I'll show you here execution here in the JMeter. Okay, before that I'm just going to the postman again. Once your recording is complete, change the setting to the default. So I'll go to the proxy, use system proxy, remove this checkbox. Because if you don't change it, you will not be able to use Postman anymore. So you will have to take it to the default settings. Now my JMeter test case is ready. You can re remove this script recorder. So I'll just remove it. And now you can add a listener over here. Add listener view result tree. You can put any listener just to check the result. Okay, as of now, I am executing it uh, without saving and you will notice like these are executed successfully. Okay, let's see first request here. We are making a post request and a new student is generated with some ID in the same way get is running delete is running other requests are running in the same way later on. You can change the name like I will come here. Okay, that is for my adding new student in the same way fetch a student data so you can update these names quickly i'll update here delete a student and then fetch data after delete now your test steps are ready you can put any number of users here so I want to do the performance testing. So in performance testing, you want to check with the five users. I'll put sim I'll simply put five, go to the result tree, clearing the previous result. Now run it. Now your steps will run with the five users means you are doing performance testing of API. So here we have seen how we can convert our functional test cases from the postman to the JMeter. These are the three steps we have performed now done the setting on the JMeter, we run the test case in the postman and verify steps are recorded in the JMeter. Now we can run these test cases by applying load. So that's all we have about this session. Here at the end, I want to update. We are involved in the project support, software testing services, digital marketing services and training services. If you are interested in our services, you can call or WhatsApp us on this number. Also, you can send us email. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.